Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Fertese and I'm going to be leading you through a full body vinyasa flow practice today. I'm going to be using two blocks for this practice. So if you have a set of blocks, feel free to grab them. If you don't have blocks, books can also be a very nice option for support as well. I'll also be using a blanket, which is ideal for underneath the knees. Feel free to grab one of those as well if you have one nearby. So we're gonna get started in a comfortable seated position. Sitting up tall, perhaps sitting on a blanket or a block to bring a little bit more length to the spine. And before movement, just really turning inward and bringing some stillness into the body. As the body becomes still, notice if you can sense any obvious sensations, any areas that are feeling tight or tense today. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then beginning to invite in a gentle clockwise circular movement. And these circles can be as big or as small as feels good for your body. Noticing the sensation or the stretch that you may be feeling at certain points in your rotation. And then coming up to a nice tall seat, rolling the shoulders up on the inhale, back and down on the exhale. Two more times, inhale, draw the shoulders up. Exhale, release, back and down. And then last one, inhale. And exhale, soften the shoulders. As you inhale again, sweep the arms up. Exhale, palms facing down, release the shoulders. And just flowing with the breath, starting to regulate and really connect breath to movement. Beautiful. The next time you reach your arms up overhead, exhale, take a twist to the left. Left hand really close to the back body. Right hand can rest on your left thigh. Because we're still warming up, you wanna keep this twist rather light. Gaze is towards the left side of the room. You can also start to look over and behind you over the left shoulder. And then as you bring your gaze back to center, slide your left hand beside the body. Inhale, or right arm up and over. Really stretching out that right side. You can stay active in the arms, or you can take your fingertips to the back of your head and gently pull back using the elbow and shoulder. And as you come back up to center, Releasing the hands back by your sides and then transitioning in your seat so that front foot can come back, bringing the back leg forward, hands resting gently on your thighs as you start to rotate now in a counterclockwise direction. Noticing already how this side may be feeling different. And making one more rotation around, one more circular movement. And then inhale, draw the shoulders up as you exhale, release them back and down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, and exhale, release, and last time. And as you inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, palms down, just regulating that breath, linking it to movement. Feeling light and lifted on the inhale and grounded on the exhale. And we'll take one more breath in. Pausing at the top as you exhale, take your twist over to the right. Right hand behind the body, left hand to right thigh. Beginning to peel that right shoulder back. Create some nice space in the heart center in the chest. And then as you turn the gaze forward, slide your right hand beside your body, inhale your left arm up and over. And again, reaching out through the fingertips or fingers on the back of the head as you pull that left elbow back. 
Breathe into your left side body. And then very gently coming back up to center. One hand on either side of the body. Giving the shoulders one more roll up, back and down. Wonderful. From here, we're going to make our way into a tabletop position. So we'll be on to hands and knees. Really spread your fingertips, press the floor away, palms under shoulders. Allow your toes to be untucked, feet relaxed. As you inhale, find a neutral spine. Look over the top of your mat. Find a gazing point. As you exhale, begin to press into your palms. Start to round your spine as you tuck your chin into your chest. As you inhale, let your belly drop. Lift your tailbone and forehead up. And then exhale, rib cage draws in as you round your back. A few more breaths. Coming through cow pose, extending the spine. And then exhaling into cat pose, flexing the spine. One more cat, one more cow. And then can you return back to a neutral spine? Begin to bring awareness to your right foot, right leg. And as you inhale, go ahead and float your right leg back. Point the toes down. Really allow the hips to be level. Pressing equally into the right and left palm. An option to stay right here or to shift your weight into your right hand so that you can sweep your left arm up and out. And as you arrive here, really try to breathe into the movement. Breathe into this hold as you reach forward and reach back. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, release the hand and knee down, bringing awareness now to the left leg. Inhale, float that left leg up and back. Once again, keeping the hips level, equal pressure in the right and left palm, unless you're gonna lift that right arm, then you're gonna shift your weight into your left hand and arm. Feel the opposition as you reach forward, pull back. I need a lot of length and breathing, allowing your breath to help you create even more length in the body. Allow your breath to help you stretch even deeper. One more big breath in. Exhale, release the hand and knee down, bringing the knees out really wide on your mat, big toes to touch. Start to sit your tailbone back towards your heels. Reach your arms forward. You can bring your forehead right onto your mat. Otherwise, placing a block underneath your forehead. Coming into child's pose. Really nice leg through the spine, reaching out. And then we'll start to move with the breath. So on the inhale, walking your hands towards the right side of your mat. Palms can be apart or left hand can go on top of right. As you exhale, come back to center. Inhale, walking all the way to the left. Exhale, back to center, moving side to side, really mindfully here. And then returning back to center, begin to slide your hands underneath your shoulders, make your way to a tabletop. As you walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, press the hips and tailbone out towards the sky. So come into your first downward dog. And as you find downward dog, begin to move. So right away, stretching out the body as you press one heel down towards the floor, bend the opposite knee. Just feel the back body waking up. Notice what muscles you can sense here. From downward dog, begin to make your way to stillness. Lifting the hips and tailbone up towards the ceiling as you press the heels towards the floor. Really connecting palms and finger pads into your mat. Ears and biceps in line with one another. Face is relaxed. 
On your next inhalation, gaze between your hands, slowly walk your feet to your hands. Slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Stacking your joints, allow your head to lift last. As you come up, roll those shoulders up, back and down. Bring the feet hip width apart, palms forward. We'll start to move a little bit quicker with our breath. Inhale and sweeping the arms up. Exhale, slowly fold forward. As you inhale, draw your hands to your shins, flat back. Exhale, right leg steps back. We'll bring the right knee to the floor. And as you inhale, sweep both arms off. Exhale, fingertips tap down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, tap. One more time. Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, palms to the floor, step back to plank. You can be on your knees or your toes. Take an inhale here. Exhale, slowly lower to your belly. Lean all the way down, untucking the feet, pressing the tops of the feet into the floor. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders as you inhale, lifting your head, your neck, and your chest. Just until you feel a stretch in your low back. Keep the elbows drawn in towards the ribs. And then as you exhale, slowly release, nose to the floor. On your next in-breath, once again, lift your head, your neck, your chest. This time, option to tent the fingertips, pressing maybe a little bit higher, but keeping the elbows close to the ribs. And slowly release. Last time, inhale, sweep up, lift your head, your neck, your chest. And then option to hover the palms off the ground. Keep the tops of the feet pressing into the floor, keep the gaze forward, breathe. As you exhale, palms to the ground, begin to tuck your toes, press up and back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, gaze forward between your hands, right foot steps in front of or in between the hands, left knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fingertips tap down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, tap down. Continuing to move with the breath, really pressing into that front foot for stability. Last two. Last one. As the fingertips return to the mat, tuck the left toes, step forward and fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend both knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment to re-extend the arms, and as you bend your knees, bend your elbows, cactus. Pressing firmly into the feet and legs. Inhale, straighten the legs, sweep the arms up. Exhale, sink down, bending the knees, bending the elbows. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, down. Oh, three more. Getting a little bit lower each time. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. As you sink down, option to hold for three more breaths. Option two is to lift one heel at a time. Option three is to lift both heels, really pressing into the toes, drawing those heels up off the ground. Shoulder blades drawing together, fingers spread. One more breath. Beautiful, slowly release the heels down, hands to hips as you straighten the legs. And then heel toe the feet in towards one another. Make your way to the top of your mat. Palms forward, mountain pose. And you ready to do that on the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Exhale, fold, bending the knees, step the left leg back. Slowly drop the left knee to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fingertips down, left leg lifts. Really active in our low lunge. And then on the inhale, pressing all the way up to crescent lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, fingertips down. 
One more time, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fingertips down. On your next in-breath, sweeping all the way up. And as you exhale, turning the back toes, coming to warrior two. So right toes are pointing forward and the left toes are pointing off to the left side of your mat. Start to sink into that right hip, ensuring that the knee stays behind the toes. So you want your right knee behind your toes at all times. Arms are strong, but shoulders relaxed. And then coming back to our flow from here on the inhale, pressing the front leg straight, we'll bring hands to heart. Exhale, bend into that front knee, reach the arms back out. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, bend the front knee, reach out in two directions. Continuing to move with your breath. One breath per movement. Do flow through one more. Beautiful. Find that warrior two really strong. Ensuring that the right knee is pulling towards the baby toe side of the foot. And that'll keep the muscles in the inner thigh area really engaged. Finding this nice strong warrior, keeping the body still from the base of the spine down. Lower body doesn't change. Just moving the upper body now. Inhale, turn your front palm up, reverse your warrior. Left hand rests on the back leg. And then exhale, right forearm to thigh, left arm to the sky or over the ear. Moving through these two poses like a dance. Feeling the breath help you to move. Inhale and exhale. Taking one more in each direction. And then meeting back in our warrior two. As you inhale, begin to press the front leg straight, turn the right toes the same direction as the left toes, hands back to hips, heels in, toes out. As you sink into the knees, open the arms into cactus, fingers spread. Coming back to that hold, choosing your option again on this side. Do you wanna keep the feet down? Do you wanna lift one heel at a time? Or are you gonna press into both toes, lift both heels? Choose your option. One more breath. And then release the heels down, stay with me. Palms resting on your thighs. So still a lot of activation in those quads. Inhale, drop your right shoulder, look over your left. And exhale, come back to center. Inhale, drop your left shoulder forward, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, back to center. One more time in each direction. Inhale, right shoulder drops. Exhale, center. Inhale, left shoulder drops. Exhale, center. And then begin to press the legs straight. Walk the feet, heel toe them towards one another. Coming to the top of your mat. Really pressing into that right foot. And there's gonna be a lot of options here for you to choose from. Option one is to simply come onto the left toes, lift the left heel, and just pause. So you have the option to always stay put at any of these kind of bus stops that I'll be taking you through. Option one. Option two is to lift the left knee, arms up, and then reach for the shin, draw that left leg towards the body. Hugging that left knee towards you. Continue to hold onto your leg with your left hand, and then slowly open your right arm out to the side. Really active as you reach through the fingertips. On your next breath in, take your time to turn that left leg, knee and toes towards the left side of the room. And then coming into your variation of tree pose, you can come out in between. Otherwise, sole of the left foot connects to the upper thigh, the calf, or the ankle. Hands can begin at heart center. 
And if your balance is fairly stable today, feel free to grow your tree, reaching the arms up. Some other ways to challenge this posture are to close the eyes or gaze up towards the ceiling. Just taking one more breath. Beautiful, as you bring your hands to your heart, you can slide your left ankle on top of your right thigh above your knee and then gently bend that right knee. If you have a chair nearby, this can be done with a chair. It can also be done on the wall. Start to flex the left toes to protect the knee. We'll take one more breath here. And then begin to press into the right foot, release the left foot down and just shake it out, shaking from side to side. As you come back to center, finding mountain pose and beginning to shift your weight now into your left foot and leg. Remembering that one side can be very different from the other. So to start just getting really light on that right heel, lifting it up off the ground, pressing the toes into the floor and even floating the toes up and down can be an option if you're just beginning. From here, option to reach the arms up, right knee to the sky. Holding on to the right shin as you draw the knee closer to your body. And then continue to hold on to that right leg, open the left arm out. When you feel ready, opening or turning that right leg. So the right knee and toes are pointing towards the right side of your room. Over the next few breaths, making your way to tree, choosing where the sole of the foot is going to land. Be the same as on the other side or somewhere completely different. And as you press your foot into your leg, you're pushing your leg back into your foot. So it's that opposing pressures, opposing movements. Right foot pushes in, left leg pushes back. Hands to heart, or you can grow your tree. From here, slowly begin to bring your hands back to your heart center. Slide your right ankle on top of your left thigh above your knee, flex your right toes, and start to sink into that left knee, hinging from the hip. Pressing finger pads or palms into one another. And then pressing that left leg straight, releasing the right foot to the floor. Stepping out wide, toes out, heels in. We'll roll the shoulders up, back and down one more time. Inhale the arms up, palms to touch. As you exhale, bend your elbows so your wrists are resting on your head. And then we'll slowly start to sink down. So sinking down until you feel a stretch, you can bring your hands to your heart. And as you begin to feel resistance, you can bring your hands behind you and roll onto your tailbone. Walking the feet and legs forwards, hands behind your back for stability and support. Begin to windshield wipe your knees side to side. Noticing any differences from right to left. And then beginning to roll all the way onto your back from here. So rolling onto your back, bringing the feet out wide and then continuing to windshield wiper side to side. Notice any differences now. And as you come back to center, walking the feet and legs in line with the hips. Bringing awareness to the right foot as you take the right ankle to the left thigh above the knee. An option to stay here, gently pressing the right leg away. Or you can begin to draw the left knee towards your body. Go ahead and reach for either the shin or the back of the thigh hamstring area. And as you draw the left leg towards the body, keep pressing the right leg away. Let your head rest down, let 
your eyes soften or your eyes close. And if you're holding that left leg, slowly begin to release the left foot down, open the arms wide on your mat, and then allow both knees and legs to fall to the right. And if it feels okay, you can keep your right ankle resting on the outside of the left thigh, above the knee. The weight of that foot will help you to get a little bit deeper into the stretch. But as an alternative, you're welcome to stack the knees instead. And if they don't come down to the ground, that's what a block, again, will often come in handy. So bringing a block underneath the bottom knee, sometimes a block in between the thighs feels nice as well. And your gaze can be straight up or over your left shoulder. In your next inhalation, bring your gaze back up. Press both feet back into the floor. And bring left ankle on top of right thigh. Pausing here as you press the left leg away. And then option to draw the right leg towards the body. For some people, extending that right leg up feels better. For other people, keeping the right knee bent um, is a better stretch. So again, just deciding for yourself what your body prefers. Taking one more breath here. And then slowly release the right foot down. Keep the left ankle on the thigh if that feels okay as you outstretch the arms, palms up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly drop your knees and legs over to the left. Again, option to keep that left heel on the top thigh or stack the knees. Finding your variation of this reclined twist, gaze up or gaze over the right shoulder. Enjoying just one more breath here. And then slowly bringing your gaze back to center. Inhale, draw the knees into your chest. Give yourself a really big hug as you rock from side to side. And so as you make your way back up to seated, just noticing how you may be feeling differently than when we began this practice and when you began this practice. Feeling the body and mind really integrated and connected. Take two cleansing breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Whenever you're ready, inhale. And out through the mouth. One more breath in. And I am extending Gratitude to each of you for joining me today. Namaste.